Hey YouTube, Atheist Vape is checking in. Today, we have got the Kraken. I gotta say, for a uh, you know a clone from Fast Tech, this is definitely a quality piece. I know a lot of people bash on Fast Tech, and you know a lot of that has to do honestly with the shipping times, uh, and not everything on there is going to be top notch uh, when it comes to clones. But I'll tell you what, I would say probably 70% of the time of my orders from Fast Tech, I have had no complaints with what I've gotten. Um, so, you know, I've had a good run with picking up stuff from them. I, I definitely read the descriptions, check out the photos, and if I do have an issue, I contact FastTech, and they get back to you within 24 hours. Honestly, any issue I've had, they immediately take care of. Uh, they're quick to credit your account when you've got a return. So, I really don't have a problem with this website. Uh, everyone says everything on there is crap, but I just don't buy it. So. Um, I again, I've ordered my Hades RDA. I've I've ordered my Enigma RDA, uh, which wasn't that great, so there was an issue there. Um, I ordered my Typhon GT from there, which was fantastic. Still one of the best RBAs I've ever come across. So I'm not willing to discount Fast Tech like some people are and just say, "Oh, their stuff sucks," because that's just not true. Uh, and this is another case of a um, a clone from Fast Tech that kicks ass. So. Um, the Kraken uh, is kind of a hybrid RDA because it does have a tank system. It's like the Steamboy Storm Rider. Um, I did do a dual vertical coil build in here, uh, but you do have single coil option as well because you've got adjustable airflow, um, and the way it's set up, it does allow you to just do a single coil. Unlike the Steamboy Storm Rider, there is an extra hole for filling up your juice inside here. When we dive up close, uh, I'll show you all that. I did not use the mesh. Uh, wire setup like, like I was saying I did not use the wire mesh uh, for this setup like you're supposed to um, I still haven't learned how to do that I do have some wire mesh stuff to practice and when I do my Typhon GS video I will use it uh, correctly and I'll show you how I did it um, I just you know honestly I've been a little lazy and on top of that I was sick I've had work and all this other jazz uh, that doesn't excuse the fact that I never learned how to use the wire mesh it's just this week Specifically, I just haven't had the time, uh, so I just threw in a couple of cotton uh, wicks, um, you know, and have them down inside the tank, and they rest up top in here. So it seems to be wicking just fine. I'm not getting any dry hits. I'm running the DNA uh, 30 Hanna mod setup at 30 watts with this setup, um, and it's firing just fine. It's coming at 3.6 volts. <laughs> Whoa! got some Lucky Ruckus Obsidian. It's part of their new top shelf line. I'm going to be having a review for them coming up here in the next couple days as well. Um, yeah, this stuff is, uh, is tasting fantastic in here. Um, you know, uh, I don't really know what else to say about it until we dial up close other than, you know, I give it two thumbs up, so I think it's a quality piece. And uh, again, it's, you know, from Fast Tech and it kicks ass, so you're going to get a fantastic price. So let's dive up close and show you some of the specs. And here is our up close and personal with the Kraken. So this is, I don't know what you call these things, these hybrid type tanks. I mean, it's an RDA, but it stores juice, um, you know, like the Storm, uh, or Steamboy Storm Rider. Sorry, I'm trying to get the focus just right for you all. Um, so yeah, I think it's a pretty cool piece, and you know, considering it's a, uh, a Fast Tech clone, uh, I know Fast Tech gets bashed on quite a bit, but, you know, I've had pretty good success with clones I've gotten off of there. And again, I've had, you know, uh, crappy clones from them as well. So I think it's just kind of a, you know, hit or miss sort of deal. Let's see if we can get this thing pulled apart with my fingernails. All right, well, we'll start with the top anyway. I might have to pause this. <laughs> um, so anyway, we got our adjustable airflow. It does use the, you know, the gaskets for this top cap here. And inside there is where you do your build. And so I did, you know, two vertical microcoils. Um, 
I know that these kind of setups are best done with the mesh uh, wire stuff. I do have it. I promise I will learn to use it. Um, when I do my Typhon GS video, I will have that type of build, and I'll show you how I did it. Um, but for right now, for the purpose of this video, I just fed cotton down through these holes into the tank, um, like I did the, the Steam, uh, Steam Boy Storm Rider. Not the best way to do it, obviously. It takes uh, more time. Um, it's a bit more work, um, but it worked for me. All right, let's see if I can get this pulled apart here. I have to go grab an Addy. Oh, very close. Oh, there we go. Oh, I pulled the whole thing apart. Anyway, not a big deal. Uh, we got this outer shield here with, you know, the Kraken uh, emblem. And again, it says Kraken there. Uh, and then we have the inner glass where you would store your juice. Um, the gaskets aren't super tight there, um, but it didn't leak when I had juice in there. So obviously it's working just fine. Um, but you can just pull it off with your hands pretty easy. Um, Pretty simple setup as far as the build's concerned. Let's see if we can zoom in a little closer here. Oh, sorry about this. Get this adjusted. All right, how does that look? That looks pretty good. Okay, so, you know, again, not, not a too crazy of a build here or anything, just a couple vertical micro coils. Um, but it is nice that they give you three holes uh, because you have an actual spot to fill your juice. Um, so that's, you know, obviously a needed feature so you can get juice in there. Um, but you do have the option to go single coil on this setup as well. So anyway, we got some kind of bullshit serial number inside there. Um, yeah, but overall, uh, pretty quality build. Uh, easy to work with. Um, I'm not sure what that says there. <laughs> Maybe one of you knows. And it looks like we got a silver plated contact here. But uh, yeah, overall, again, just a, just a simple setup as far as uh, these type of builds are concerned. Um, it didn't take me very long. It's still not you know the easiest thing to set up, but um, definitely once I got past the learning curve with the Steam Boy, uh, this was a lot easier. One of the viewers suggested I leave the little mini screwdrivers down inside these holes where the wick goes. That was a great idea. Definitely made the difference. So anyway, appreciate that viewer who mentioned that. Um, but yeah, that's our up close and personal with the Kraken from Fast Tech. And that was our up close and personal with the Kraken from Fast Tech. Yeah, again, two thumbs up. I say pick it up if you were ever interested in this and you you know you're not quite sure. If you get it from Fast Tech, you are gonna wait you know anywhere from three weeks to six weeks to get it, but you're gonna get it for under twenty dollars hands down. Um, and you know this has been a quality piece. The one I got uh, on loan. Uh, did not come with the drip tip. I just threw one on there, uh, and I'm assuming it probably doesn't come with one if you order it. Uh, I'm not sure though. Um, but yeah, really easy setup as far as like these type of tanks go. Uh, I imagine if you know how to use the wire mesh, it'll go even easier for you. But um, threading the needle through these holes wasn't that difficult, and unlike the uh, Steam Boy Storm Rider, the gaskets on here were actually uh, you know able to pull apart without ripping my fingernails out. So definite perk there. Um, but yeah, you know, as far as like hybrid type setups go, I dig it. Um, it's not something I would want to take with me on the go, even though I'm, you know, I'm assuming that's what these are for. Just because I'd be worried about it spilling out of that fill hole if I set it down wrong. Um, especially if I threw it in my backpack or something like that. So, for me, it kind of defeats the purpose of having the extra juice um, for a, t a dripper type setup. Because uh, if it leaks out, you know, what good does it do you having this type of setup? But, you know, if you're conscientious of that, I imagine it's just fine for most people. And if you're used to it, I'm, I'm guessing, you know, you've just learned to do it right. Um, but that's just my own uh, observation. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think it's got a dope engraving, the laser engraving. Uh, I like the adjustable airflow options. Um, yeah, it's a quality piece, people. Overall, uh, yeah, two thumbs up. I say pick it up. Let's fire her up again. Ooh, 0.45 builds hitting fantastic. All right, I want to say thank you uh, to my viewer who sent this to me for review. Really, really appreciate that. He will be getting some juice sent back as a thank you. Um, you know, I really appreciate those of you who do that. Keeps these videos rolling. 
Um, a lot of people have asked, you know, what am I interested in reviewing? Honestly, just about anything. Uh, preferably stuff that's come out within the last six months just to keep it more relevant. But I'm not going to turn down, you know, a mod loan uh, just because it's an older one. Um, it just, it helps, you know, with the views, honestly, when it's a newer product because people are, are searching for that thing. If it's something that's been out for a while, eh, less people are going to watch. But again, I'm more than happy to review it. Um, and I, I, I really appreciate those of you who have sent me stuff. Um, if you're still waiting to get something back, it's coming back. Uh, you know, I was sick, so everything got a little delayed, but I'm getting everything mailed back. So don't fret. And, uh, you know, you will be getting juice and a sticker if you don't already have one. So, yeah, that's my review for the Kraken from Fast Tech. Uh, be sure to like my video, subscribe to my channel. I've got all kinds of giveaways going on. Still got t-shirts for sale with my logo on there. Still have stickers for sale. So far, we have had uh, 30 of the 100 VIP spots taken up, so that leaves 70 spots left, so plenty of room for you to jump on that. I will be doing a VIP giveaway uh, for the shirt sales here within about the next week or two, and I will be doing a VIP giveaway for those of you who have ordered stickers as well, so that will be a separate special giveaway for you guys. Um, and again, you don't have to enter for that. I'm just going to put your information in. I have all your names written down, all your coupon codes. So how I'm going to do it is just list, you know, all the codes and then randomize it and pick a winner. So you don't have to enter. I'll, I'll put a posting on Facebook and I'll try to email you and let you know if you've won. Um, and I'll announce the winner as well. So, yeah, that's what I got going on. Peace and love, YouTube. Atheist Vapist is out.